Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today, on the general topic of, laboring on the all-inclusive Christ typified by the good land for the building up of the church as the body of Christ, for the reality and the manifestation of the kingdom, and for the bride to make herself ready for the Lord's coming, 2023 Winter Training, Week 7, Day 2. The title of this portion of enjoyment is, In His Ascension God Inaugurated Christ to be the Lord of All and the Christ of God. We hope you enjoy the Lord while listening to this portion and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. In His ascension, God inaugurated Christ into His heavenly ministry to be the Lord to possess all and to be the Christ as God's anointed to carry out God's commission, the one who lives in us is in resurrection to give us life and power and in ascension to share His authority with us. Praise the Lord! Before we can experience and enjoy Christ as the one in ascension, we need to first see the objective aspect of the Lord's ascension. The Bible is clear concerning what happened in the Lord's ascension, and we can participate in some of the things that He has passed through and attained. The Lord Jesus was God becoming man, God incarnated to be a man, and when He put on human nature, He put aside the outward splendor of His divinity and gave up on His likeness with God. He had a joy set before Him, to gain the church as His increase and counterpart, and for this joy, He despised the shame, endured the cross, and sat down at the right hand of God in the heavens. Hallelujah! When we read the Gospels we see a lowly and meek Jesus who was one with God and depended on God in everything He did and said. He came not to be a king to rule us outwardly, He came to fulfill God's purpose, and He gave Himself up for us. There has never been such a person who was so one with God, so selfless, even so self-denying, to take God's will as His will, and to be willing to lay down even His physical life. Humanly speaking, there may have been here and there a person who has died for their friends, but their death did not have eternal efficacy. With Christ, however, things are different, God approved His sacrifice, He raised Christ from the dead, and even more, He inaugurated Christ into His heavenly ministry in His ascension. First, Christ was raised from the dead to become a life-giving spirit. He was pneumatized to be the life-giving spirit to give life to all those who receive Him. He also became the firstborn Son of God, for in His resurrection He imparted His divine life into us to make us sons of God. But resurrection was not the end, as amazing as it was. After being raised, Christ entered into His ascension, and in ascension, He was crowned with glory and honor, and He was enthroned for God's administration. Even more, God inaugurated Christ into His heavenly ministry in His resurrection. Now Christ is in His ascension carrying out His heavenly ministry to care for the churches and administrate the earth for the carrying out of God's eternal economy. Praise the Lord! In His ascension, God inaugurated Christ into His heavenly ministry to be the Lord and the Christ. Acts 2.36 tells us that God made the Lord Jesus both Lord and Christ, yes, man has crucified Him and put Him to death, but in His ascension, God inaugurated Him into His heavenly ministry to be both the Lord and the Christ. Hallelujah! Before His ascension, Jesus Christ was the God-man who, in resurrection, was made the life-giving Spirit. Before His incarnation, He was Lord of all, and He possessed the glory of God, including the outward form of His glory. But in His ascension Christ became Lord of all, Acts 2 36, 10, 36. As God, Christ was the Lord all the time, Luke 1 43, John 11 21, 20, 28. but as man, He was made the Lord in His ascension. He was a man God, a God-man, in His divinity, He was the Lord of all, but in His humanity, He was a mortal human being. So in His ascension, God inaugurated Christ, the God-man with His humanity, to be the Lord of all. Hallelujah! He is the Lord of all, referring to all men, all peoples, and all things. Christ is the Lord not only of the Jews but also of the Gentiles with all the different races and peoples. When a president is elected nowadays, there is a period of time until he is inaugurated, then, when he's inaugurated, it is official, that is the president. When Christ ascended, God inaugurated Christ into his heavenly ministry and made him the Lord of all. Christ today is no longer merely the one who lived on earth for thirty-three and a half years in full obedience to God, being faithful to do God's work even unto death. He is now on the throne, ascended to the highest place in the universe. He has all authority in heaven and on earth. The man-savior, Jesus Christ in his ascension, has been made the Lord to possess all. He is now the Lord to possess the whole universe, God's chosen people, and all positive things, matters, and persons. Hallelujah! God inaugurated Christ in His ascension to be Lord of all, He is now the Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Furthermore, in His ascension, God inaugurated Christ to be the Christ, God's anointed, Hebrews 1 9. 
God anointed Christ with the oil of gladness above all his partners, and in his ascension the Lord Jesus was made the Christ. Hallelujah! In eternity, Christ was already the Christ. Then, when he was incarnated and was born as man, he was the Christ from the time he was born. Luke 2 11, Matt. 1 16, John 1 41, Matt. 16 16. At his baptism, he was anointed by God with his spirit to be the Christ for his ministry on the earth. Luke 4 18. However, Christ was not officially inaugurated as the Christ until he entered into his ascension. He was chosen, appointed, and anointed by God to be the Christ in his incarnation and human living, but he was inaugurated to be the Christ in his ascension. After passing through incarnation, human living, death, and resurrection, Christ entered into his ascension and was enthroned in the heavens as the Christ. Praise the Lord! God inaugurated Christ to be the Lord of all and the Christ for his heavenly ministry. Christ is now officially the Lord and the Christ to carry out his heavenly ministry. Praise the Lord! Lord Jesus, we praise you. Praise you for your ascension. Hallelujah! In his ascension God inaugurated Christ to be the Lord of all. Jesus Christ is Lord, the Lord of all. Amen, Lord, we enthrone you in our being. You are our Lord, and you are the Lord to possess the whole universe. You are the Lord of all to possess the whole universe, God's chosen people, and all positive things, matters, and persons. Amen, Lord, we praise you for your inauguration into your heavenly ministry at the time of your ascension. Wow, Lord, you are the Lord of all, and every knee shall bow and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of all. We praise you as the Christ, the one anointed by God to carry out God's commission. Amen, Lord, you have been inaugurated to be the Christ in your ascension. We praise you. We are one with you. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of all and the Christ of God. We are now one with Christ in his resurrection and ascension to have life, power and authority. When we meet people, unless we know who they are and what is their background, our appreciation of them is not that high. We may meet the president of a certain country but we may not know it, so our conversation with them and our appreciation of them will not be that high. The more we know a person's status, qualifications, position, and office, the more we appreciate that person. Our contact with a person is affected by our knowledge of who he is and what his status, position, and qualifications are. It is the same with the Lord Jesus. We need to first know who he is, what is his status, what is his office, and what are his qualifications. The Gospels give us a clear view of who Christ is, what are his qualifications, what is his office, and what he has attained and obtained. And toward the end of the Gospels and at the beginning of Acts we see that this wonderful Christ is in ascension, and in ascension, he has attained to the highest position and has the highest office. Praise the Lord! We are now one with Christ in his resurrection and ascension, for God seated us with Christ in the heavenlies, Ephesians 2 6. As a result of being one with Christ in his resurrection, we have life and power, for his resurrection dispensed his life into us and this power has the amazing power of resurrection. But we not only have power in life, we also have authority, for we're one with Christ in his ascension. Hallelujah, we are one with Christ in his ascension to share in his authority. We have life and power in resurrection, and we have authority in ascension. As we contact our Lord, we need to have a realization of what he is, a realization of his status, position, and office. At the same time, we should not be presumptuous in this, thinking that we are now something that we're actually not. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to the Lord Jesus, Matthew 28 18-20, and he has given us this authority to be one with him in his heavenly ministry. We are his companions, and he wants us to apply and exercise his authority on the earth to a certain extent. This is one of the basic lessons we need to learn, that is, to first live under the divine authority and then exercise God's authority. First of all, in this age that is becoming more and more lawless, we need to live under the divine authority. The Lord has not only power and position, He has the authority. And we need to be under His authority, respect the deputy authorities He has ordained, and exercise His authority. Yes, the presidents and rulers today have authority, but Christ is the supreme authority, for in His resurrection God inaugurated Christ to be the Lord of all and the Christ of God for His heavenly ministry. We as His believers are His body and we hold to our ascended head, being one with Him. We may see that there is a particular person in power who is very evil, persecuting the people of God and not allowing a peaceful situation to develop for the gospel to be preached, so we make our feelings known to our ascended head. In our prayer meetings as the church we can exercise God's authority by first being under his authority and then, one with the body, we can pray the prayers of authority to bind and lose. 
we may even ask God to deal with a particular person or a particular situation, and the ascended head will add himself as the incense to our prayer and pour out the execution of his administration on the earth. Christ is longing for such a prayer to be uttered to him. We need to first know him in his position in office, submit ourselves to him and take him as our head, and then we need to be one with Christ in his ascension to execute his will on the earth. May the Lord gain this among us. May we be full of appreciation toward the Lord in his position, status, qualifications, and office, and may we join ourselves to him as the church to exercise his authority on the earth for the carrying out of God's administration. This does not mean that we pray presumptuous prayers that are not according to God's will. Rather, as we abide in him and allow him to abide in us, we can ask whatever we will and he will do it for us, for we ask in oneness with him. We are intimately joined to our ascended head. We remain in the position of ascension with him and we exercise his authority on the earth. Thank you, Lord, for seating us together with you in the heaven least to share in your resurrection and ascension. Wow, Lord, what a privilege it is for us to know that God inaugurated Christ in his ascension to be the Lord of all and the Christ of God. Amen, Lord, we are joined to you as one. We place ourselves under your authority and we take you as our head. You are our ascended head, and we are your body. We intimately and closely hold to our ascended head and we want to make our will and desire known to you in prayer. O oh Lord, gain the prayer you need, the prayer of authority, the prayer and oneness of the head and the body, the prayer for the carrying out of God's administration. May we all realize who you are, what you have attained, and how we are one with you. Perfect us, Lord, and train us to pray the prayers of authority, one with our ascended head who is Lord of all, for God's will to be done, the enemy to be put to shame, and the kingdom of God to come in on the earth.